Yo, what's up, guys? It's Ben from Lake Relax the Cross. And I'm Matthew. And today we're going to be reviewing um, two Tribe 7 products we just got in today. Um, so, first off, let's talk about the um, the new Tribe 7 Gorilla 7 lacrosse shaft. This was. <laughs> this is a sick shaft, uh, mainly for face offs. Uh, it was built and it came out when the B7 came out. Yeah, kind of for a complete face-off stick to be a week beast. Of, so they came out with stuff in like a week, every day for a week. Yeah, for Greg, um, face-off guy for the New York Wizards, probably the best. This MVP. is yeah, this is carbon fiber composite, so it has that little bit of flex. Has mm -hmm. that flex in here for when you face off. Um, the best part about it is again for face-offs. Um, right here is the white part. Has a nice sand paper grip right here. Then it goes to matte with the Gorilla 7 um, writing. So it goes sandpaper, matte, sandpaper, matte, back to sandpaper. Uh, something I don't like is where's the butt end at? <laughs> where um, that which side is the uh, top part of it? Because as you can see, there are no holes for screws. I think they want you to choose it, but... Doesn't mean anything. It's the same like type of thing down here as up up here. Just white. So yeah, just white. So, but overall, I like it. It's lightweight. Feels nice in your hand. Um, it looks really nice. Will look pretty um cool on the shaft again with that Tribe Seven writing white with silver outline. So pretty sick. And that's all. The shaft is pretty light. Not it's it's a good look. It's like black and then into white, silver accents on the tribe. Can't can't really tell but whenever you look at it close. It's really good. I've seen a lot of people use this for um goalie shaft. Oh yeah. Yeah, like Tribe Seven, they'll post stuff about it, about it being a goalie shaft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. I feel like this is the end because like feel it and it's just kind of continuous mm -hmm. and then this side yeah so this this is probably the top with a girl of seven and then this is the bottom which is white so that was the tribe seven gorilla seven lacrosse shaft and now we have the all new tribe seven fort seven their uh first goalie head in white overall my well my first thoughts on it were um Lightweight for a goalie head. Um, I think the head's a little tall, but uh, it looks pretty cool overall. It looks like something Tribe 7 would make, so they did that. So, good. Looks a lot like the STX Shield. And the first thing I noticed is there's lots of sidewall holes, and they're spaced fine, but they're very small. And up here, there's these like winglets. And mainly Mesh and East Coast Dyes said those, they're for clamping the ball, but they, they you don't want them for stringing. They mess it up. And then also the top string holes are small. It's a pretty stiff head, though. Like, it's not going to flex back on a shot. It's not, and it has a good face shape. Yeah. Bottom string holes are pretty big. So that's good. You want to say anything? Sure. So, I'm a goalie, as you guys probably know. Um, and I kind of like this head, but like you said, yeah, the top string holes are really, I think they're too small. <laughs> yeah, like you can barely fit two strings in there. Yeah. But overall, I like the design, the white. Um, a thing I really want as a goalie is right here, where you put your hand. Uh, it fits real nice, because it goes circular around here. Which is what I like. If it doesn't do that, it makes me uncomfortable. The Nemesis 2 doesn't have a nice comfortable part, but I, I like the Nemesis 2. But the Eclipse is known for having that nice right here. Um, I think it'll come out with a pretty deep pocket, mm -hmm. no matter what. Lots of sidewall holes there. It's a pretty cool looking head. and got the Tribe 7 trademark right there mm -hmm. and wording. So, yeah, that was the Tribe 7 Force 7. And the Gorilla 7... Shaft, all new. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.